say it's a dry heat. It's a beautiful area, not too many tourists around, but uh, just enjoying the time here in Death Valley, hoping for a hot, hot day. Once you start getting uh, heat or heat indices that are that high, uh, the human body simply can't cool off fast enough. The mechanisms by which we cool off don't work. So we can't be outside for extended periods of time. We can't be uh, exerting ourselves, engaged in physical activity. Um, it's dangerous or even deadly to do that. We would not be seeing these record temperatures or any of the unprecedented extreme weather events we've been seeing around the world in recent years if it were not for our warming of the planet due to fossil fuel burning and other activities that are increasing the concentration of these warming greenhouse gases. see is that these extreme highs instead of occurring you know uh, once every three years start occurring every two years and then every year and then maybe a couple three times a year uh, we'll start seeing places that never saw 100 degree plus temperatures start having 100 degree plus temperatures and we'll start seeing longer and longer periods of, of consecutive days of high temperatures and when you look at um, when heat waves really cause a lot of damages to public health and infrastructure, it's usually when there are successive days that are hot, as we're having now in California. 